Hey there, lacrosse fans. Matt Lawrence of HopkinsSports.com with your 2020 Johns Hopkins Women's Lacrosse Preview. I'm joined, as always, by head coach Janine Tucker of the Blue Jays on the heels of back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances as they look for a third straight trip to the big dance this year. Janine, I kind of want to talk about the mindset of the team so far in the preseason. I've been out of practice the last couple of weeks, and the intensity has really kind of seemed to ramp up no over the last couple of days. No so just kind of touch on what your message in the offseason has been to some of the leadership on the team and how that has trickled down across the roster. Well, I've been really excited with our preseason so far, and, and next weekend is, is our first game, so definitely things have ramped up a bit and ratcheted up with our intensity, our energy level. It comes from our senior leadership. Um, the entire senior class is phenomenal, but also our three senior captains, Maggie Schneidereith, Mackenzie Heldberg, and Lexi Souter. They are really leading the way with calling people out, holding people accountable themselves as well as their teammates, and the girls of really feeding off of each other and that energy. Um, you know, what we've focused a lot on this preseason has been fun it's been our team chemistry and camaraderie, our mental and emotional toughness. And so that's some things that we're seeing translate every day at practice. And we're also certainly working on polishing every end of the field, one side to the other in preparation for Drexel on the eighth. As we take a look at the offensive end, obviously bringing back Maggie and Mac mm -hmm. is, a, is a huge start um, yep. on the offensive side. But then a couple of other girls playing you know maybe freshman sophomore year or more accordingly as well coming yes. in as a junior how does you know Maggie and Mac how have they taken some of those young girls under their wing and really kind of ramped up the offensive attack well they both as senior captains their leadership skills are fantastic and they really do work hard to develop their their younger players their counterparts their peers that are out there with them Aurora accordingly is someone that feeds well off of Maggie and Mac and I think she's gonna have a breakout season as a junior and it's because they're giving her such confidence and again, Maggie and Mac are giving not only each other confidence as senior captains and leaders on the offensive side, kind of making it their own, but they're also embracing some of our younger players and setting them up for success. So you'll see newer faces, maybe a Carly Steinloff as a freshman, who's a real powerful dodger and shooter, a Maeve Barker, who's very smooth as another freshman that we'll be seeing. Claire Mills, a lefty sophomore who really does have, having two natural lefties out there on the offense with Maggie and Claire is really important for us and we can play off of that. So we're hoping that you're not just going to see four offensive players, that you're going to see five, six, maybe seven that go thrown out there and are able to really do something great with the ball. Sliding over to the midfield now, two girls that have pretty much played every minute of every game since they stepped on the campus two years ago, Shelby Harrison yes. and Keegan Barger. What type of next steps do you want to yes. see from those two this year? Keegan, you know, we know about the defensive intensity that she brings, but what can we see from her on the offensive end this year as she takes that next step into her junior season? Well, that's something for both of them, but especially Keegan that I've been thrilled to see this preseason, and that is her ability to get to the cage. She has really grown on the offensive side. She's been known more for her grittiness as a defender and at the draw, but now she's more of a complete player. So we are going to be counting on her to dodge and get to the cage and score and she's worked tirelessly on that and I'm really excited because we're starting to see the fruits of her labor. Shelby and Keegan are a dynamic duo at the draw. Those two really have a good connection with one another so Shelby's going to be counted on not only at the draw but certainly to up her game offensively as well as defensively. So our middies are our workhorses and those two really do lead the show for me in the middle of the field. You have a really experienced back end on the defensive yes. line. A lot of yes. girls with a lot of playing time to this point. Just talk a little bit about them and what you're expecting out of the defense this year? Well, I have to tell you, I'm wildly excited about our defense for a couple reasons. Number one, because a lot of those players, Trinity McPherson, Jeannie Kakris, Haley Wrights, they've had a ton of playing time. Annika uh, Meyer, who's kind of breaking herself in as a sophomore, has done a great job. And what they're doing for me now is we've tweaked our defense a little bit. So we're starting to use their athleticism, their speed, very, very fast coming out of the defensive end. And they know their job not only is to lock things down on defense, but it's also to start our offense. So I'm super excited to see how some of our defensive tweaks in our sets, as well as our ability to clear the ball, are going to really materialize with that group leading the way. Obviously playing in the Big Ten, the toughest conference in college lacrosse. Yeah. And, you know, we sat here last year yeah. uh, over Memorial Day weekend, watched Northwestern and yep. Maryland yep. Um, take part in the Final Four here at Homewood Field. What does it mean to play in this conference and knowing that every game you're facing an NCAA tournament caliber opponent and, and know that in the non-conference over the next couple of weeks you're gearing up for that just a gauntlet when you get to the Big Ten stretch. Well I think the Big Ten is the most powerful conference in Division One women's lacrosse and to be honest with you playing in the Big Ten 
prepares us for the postseason. So we have to be on every single game. We are going against teams that are well coached, that are very athletic, but it helps us achieve what we're our ultimate goal, which is a Big Ten championship or an NCAA championship. So having to prepare and play against our Big Ten opponents and the level of talent that they bring only sets us up for success in the postseason and prepares us. So we're looking forward. Right now we're focused on Drexel, not going to lie. That's our, our singular focus. But the Big Ten, it's, it's really an honor to play in that conference and to play against those teams. It's been head coach Janine Tucker with your 2020 Johns Hopkins Women's Lacrosse Preview. The Blue Jays open the season next Saturday, February 8th, right here at Home Woodfield when they take on Drexel at 4 p.m. That follows the men's lacrosse game at 1 p.m. against Towson. Coach Tucker, thanks always for your time. My pleasure. No problem, Matt. Thanks.